Before we proceed with this video, I understand it might be a little bit too long for some of you. So if you could just scroll down and take a look in the description, you will see how provided chapters. So if you only care about specific skin that was accepted today, just look in the description, look for the specific chapter. The option to skip ahead is available to you. Right, so before we proceed to showcase off all the brand new skins and whatnot, I've just recorded this just to point out that today we uh, took place um, a very fun like Halloween event. We had a whole bunch of people involved and we were intending to do like a big protest for Bone Wolves and supporter Shadowhopper. Unfortunately, like an hour in, his connection dropped. Very unfortunate. But we're actually planning to continue this tomorrow so as you can see we've got the likes of a fun little racetrack we've been having some fun coliseum fights some fight pits and whatnot everybody dressed up in bones and whatnot very goofy very silly well we're going to continue this again tomorrow all right so on friday the first of november look in the description you'll see the link to my twitch and of course the link to the art of rust server as well you're more than welcome to come join us it's just for fun and, uh, well, it appears we are getting noticed by Face Punch themselves, which is very cool. So if you're going to get involved with the likes of this, getting involved in the likes of taking part in looking at all the lovely artwork or racing on the racetrack, or, of course, you know, smacking each other with bone clubs, you're more than welcome to do so. So in this video, I'm also going to add the likes of some clips that took place in this special little event. But just to point out, I did record the showcase before the whole event took place. So might, like, kind of spread that around a bit and whatnot. But yeah, you're more than welcome to come join us. You're more than welcome to come say hello. And I feel like on a Friday, the day after Halloween, probably was a lot better than, you know, first day with Halloween. So maybe a lot of people were too occupied. So you get the idea. So thank you very much for watching this video. And why don't we just go take a look at one of the clips from the uh, event right now. Bone wall enjoyers. Bone wall enjoyers. We require skulls. We require skulls. One will prevail. One will prevail. Two will fall. Two will fall. It is time, time to commence the battle. Commence the battle. Three, three, two, two, one. one. Fight! Fight! All right then. Look at this. Smacking each other with bone clubs. <laughs> Oh, it's so silly. If you were to crouch, hardly anyone will see you. That's the funny thing. <laughs> One has fallen. One down. One down. Hey! Congratulations, Zephori! You have won. You have May you won. step out of the fight pit. And I shall claim the heads. So yeah, if you thought that was fun, you're more than welcome to come and join us. And there was a lot more than just that. Like I said, we also had a racetrack. Look at how many people we got. Hey! Don't lag, don't lag, don't lag. Steer to the right. Someone pushed me to the left, thank you. <laughs> Look at what we got going on here. A lovely Halloween racetrack. Nice and spooky. Lots of fog. Don't hit the tree, don't hit the people. But death's part of the fun. <laughs> Steer to the right. He says and he doesn't do it. Ah, uh, the spooky people. Ah, uh, I should have gone in the middle. Ah, uh, I'm bad at driving. I don't even have a license. Not to ride a bike. And there we go. Oh, a big, huge lag right there. And I've crashed because of it. Huzzah. Well, when you have so much stuff all in this area, you should be surprised with so many assets and whatnot. Ah, uh, like well, huh? uh, we'll roll with that. That's the answer, isn't it? So yeah, just to repeat, we will be doing this again tomorrow. You're more than welcome to come and join us. There's lots of goofy fun to be had. And now let's proceed with the actual Rustor Showcase video. Good evening, Rustor enjoyers. Hope you're alright, because it's time for the Rustor Rotation and, of course, the showcase of brand new skins, which just so happen to be another batch of Halloween skins. If you can recall, uh, with the likes of that Halloween collection, it did specify that the Halloween Rustors were going to be the 17th and the 24th. There's no indication of the 31st. It would have made sense if it was on the 31st, because, of course, that's the actual Halloween date, which, of course, happy Halloween to the likes of all of you. But, uh, yeah, they uh, they did do that. Now, maybe they did this after the weird fiasco of the likes of the garage door last week um, as a, a bit of a makeup, because, of course, you know, if it was made with AI, that garage door, uh, a lot of other skin craters missed out, so... Either way, it does make sense to have a Halloween Rustor on the actual Halloween day. So, all right, whatever. Cool. Lovely batch of skins. 
quite a lot of them as well just to point out and something weird has happened with one specific one right here now if you can remember early this year we had lunar new year uh year of the dragon and one of the uh, skins that was accepted was the neon dragon garage door do you remember that if you don't fully remember well let's quickly hop back over to here and you can remember me yesterday saying oh i don't think we're gonna get halloween skins tomorrow i didn't say that i just thought items were gonna persist Right, anyway, if I could go to my YouTube right here, type in Neon Dragon, you will probably remember this video going over all the details in regards to what happened with the copyright situation. In short, uh, this skin was accepted and the uh, skin was made with copyright um, material. Uh, basically needed a license to be able to use that dragon uh, asset right there and the skin creator did not do that he said he got it from a website that said it was available for free and the same asset was on other websites which required a paid license anyway that got removed from the rush store after being in there for 50 minutes and well about a thousand people bought that skin it's now on the steam market for 300 dollars. so okay maybe the notoriety of the story carried it Perhaps that very likely was the case, but now over to here we have the Sheep Matador, the undead version 2 Sheep Matador produced by Hook and Alloy, a perfectly fine Halloween theme skin, but apparently it was not supposed to be added to today's Rust Door, but it was. So at least 85 people have bought this skin, I don't know how many they bought each, but at bare minimum we know at least 85 of these exist, that's what we can confirm. If the Neon Dragon Garage Door had over a thousand people buy it bare minimum, what's going to happen to this? <laughs> and yes, this would be an abnormal skin that will be appearing on the market next week. And guys, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, I can't help but assume it's going to be pretty expensive. Yes, it is. This is potentially one of the rarest skins in the game now. Unless Face Punch decides, you know what? Maybe we'll actually just add it to the Rust Door just to not cause a fuss. We'll see. I don't fully know what's going on, but this was in the rust store for a short time and just to clarify the rust store that we have here right now it was accepted very early like normally would see a rust store rotation happen around eight o'clock in the evening uk time it rotated at half four so a lot of people were not prepared for that and i honestly think not a, a lot of people are fully aware that the rust is rotated already anyway but anyway point I'm trying to get across is it was a very early rust store and for a brief period of time a very interesting sheet of the door was in the rust door but it wasn't supposed to be there and now evidently it's one of the rarest skins in the game so next week we're gonna to have to consider how much we want to offer for it i think it potentially might be at least 300 dollars maybe so uh we'll talk more about that on the day so yeah just something to be aware of i will still showcase this skin but it's technically not in the rust store anymore so yeah cool so anyway let's go over to here and talk about which of these skins is abnormal this week so we have 14 skins to go through here we have a sheet middle double door that's abnormal that's abnormal that's not abnormal that's not abnormal that's not abnormal that's abnormal that's not that's not that's not that's not that's not that's not this is this is cool so next week we have the likes of a sheet middle double door we have a frankenstein themed sleeping bag we have the neon ghost sheet middle door we have the spooky neon large box we have the tomb storage box and we also have this very sheet middle, very special sheet middle door to chase after next week now in total it's not really that many abnormals is it however uh, with that sheet metal door, it's kind of special still, isn't it? So, all right, cool. We've got some things to chase after next week. Very nice, very nice. So, if we could just quickly hop over to here and look at the SUMM page, scroll down, you can see after a few hours, a decent amount of sales have happened. And I've got to sit here and say, the choices with the skins, I'm not fully upset. We've got some interesting skin collections. Uh, the Nightmare Clown set, I know for a fact a lot of people are going to greatly appreciate the burlap clothing there. You don't have to use it with that head wrap, you can wear whatever you want. You get to dress up as a clown now. Aren't you happy? You finally get to wear the clothes that best fit you. <laughs> also, uh, Sly Monster Collection continues. Now, this is actually a collection continuation. There we go. It's all there. Perfect. So, yes, maybe next year we'll see the likes of Tier 3 or Hoodie and Pants. It's up to Mr. You know, Little Ranger. We shall see. Also, Mr. Verona, he's done it. He's got four skins in a row accepted over the past four, uh, four Halloweens. As you can see, Ghost Halloween L96 was in fact accepted. And over the past few years, we've had an AK-47, a SAR, an MP5, and of course an L96 now. Mr. Rona, Revolver next year. 
Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Water purifier. Anyway, so that's uh, it's an okay batch. But listen, if you're looking at all of these skins and questioning which of these skins potentially might be a nice investment for this week, um, by default, Halloween skins, holiday themed skins, gimmicky holiday themed skins are not very good investments, unfortunately. Uh, more specifically, Halloween ones. Uh, people don't really care too much about Halloween. Items work out well, but the skins, I mean, over the past, like, two or three weeks, we've kind of shown that to you how previous year's Halloween skins haven't really held up very nicely. Some do. Certain ones do kind of still work out nicely just because they're still a very cool-looking skin and whatnot, but the majority, not so much. So you get the idea. Cool. Right then, so shall we go ahead now and look at all of these skins in order of what we see here and uh, just get a good look at them? Let's start showcasing the skins. So as I hop over into here, you can see I'm wearing the Dracula cape. Um, <sighs> when you buy the frog boots, it takes a lot away from, a, lot, a lot from you. <laughs> All right, anyway, so what's happened here? I'm wearing the Dracula cape with the NPC-like clothing. Um, when you wear the Dracula cape with like certain suits and whatnot, uh, it makes you invisible. Now, I've already showcased this off with the likes of the wetsuit with my very special short video I made earlier this week. So just pointing that out. Yeah, I look a bit goofy, but hey, it's Halloween, so happy Halloween. All right, let's start moving around. All right, you sit there. I'm going to turn around. And here we have a very interesting looking sheet metal double tour. Can we get a little bit of better lighting, please? Mr. Sun, turn it around, and there you go. That is a pretty cool looking sheet metal double tour. Now, it's got me thinking, do you reckon this was accepted in support of Mr. Shadowhopper? Because that's quite a lot of bones right there indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. And the funny thing is... Two sheep metal double door skins accepted for Halloween. Yeah, we we're really desperate for more, weren't we? Oh no, I'm just realising we're going to have Christmas as well. <laughs> Skin creators, I mean... Anyway, get a good look at that. Now if we could just quickly switch to night time. As you can see, it does appear to glow. And yes, the light is reflected by the bones. That's looking very nice. And of course, if I could just quickly go, Turtle Darkness! And there we are. What a fantastic looking skin right there so this is produced by mr anathen if i'm correct let's just quickly hop out let's just quickly confirm yes indeed that is a very cool looking sheet metal double door and i've got to be honest with you in terms of is it going to be a nice investment i mean we just had this talk last night when we did the abnormal barters we had the uh, gimmicky halloween themed um sheet metal double door from the previous week you know with the likes of the pumpkins and whatnot uh, dark magic library that was it and uh, i was like guys <laughs> Even if it was the worst performing sheet metal double door, it's probably not going to go down by that much. We've had so many sheet metal double door skins being accepted, and they just really didn't struggle. And I've got to point this out. This doesn't really look very Halloween gimmicky. Yeah, I know you're going to sit there and say, but it's got skeletons and bones. Well, I'll be honest with you, I've seen a lot of skins with skeletons and bones throughout all the year, and eh. <laughs> So, um, yeah, no, I think that's actually looking very appealing. It wouldn't surprise me if it's the top selling skin for this week. Looking at all the other skins, I mean, I feel like the clown set potentially might sell well. Because, as I said, you got the perfect close you now. Anyway, looking at this, you could consider it another $3 sheet metal double door. Well, maybe the previous week's one might suffer now. But just to get this point across, how many sheet metal double door skins have we accepted so far this year? 17! But then you look at them and you look, you look for the worst performing one, and it's only down by 8%. Huh. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I think it's going to be okay. I think with a bilder, everything's all right. So we'll wait till next week because, of course, that's abnormal. All right, then. So perfectly fine looking skin. Lovely piece of work there, Mr. Anafen. All right. So shall we tab out real quickly and quickly find out what's the next skin to showcase? It's the Nightmare Clown Balaclava, along with the likes of the Nightmare Clown Burlap clothing. Now, yes, this was a set of three. Every now and then, Face Punch would be okay to accept like a batch of this because normally you only see the likes of burlap, uh, burlap shirt and pants being accepted as a pair but with it being a uh, a holiday rustor you tend to get some leniency and whatnot and this did get a lot of support i have to remind you this was like one of the best performing clothing skins so let's go ahead and well quite literally add a head to my head so come on in let's put this on am i going to keep the booties on I think I will. Take off the jacket. <laughs> right, so you might have noticed there that you can wear clothing with the Dracula cape, but it won't show up. So if we could just quickly confirm that. As you can see, I am the Terrifier, but more specifically, you can see all the clothing right there. But if I were to put the jacket on, as you can see, it will appear as if I'm not even wearing the burlap shirt. This applies to hoodies and everything. No matter what you wear with this, 
the Dracula cape will like overrule it. It will go over it. You will not see what's underneath. So I just wanted to clarify that. An interesting little detail that I've technically already pointed out in a video. Now anyway, hopping back over to here. I've already showed this off in a short video if I can recall. So you've probably already seen it. I think a lot of people are very happy to see this being accepted. And I've got to be honest with you, we don't get that much burlap clothing accepted. We do every now and then. But a set like this, you're not going to see another clown set like this like at all. I actually think this might work out quite nicely. Now, more specifically, the uh, f uh, the head wrap right here. This is the uh, top selling skin out of the uh, batch here. I mean, is it because of Terrifier? Do you reckon? I don't know if this was actually an homage to uh, Terrifier, but... Uh, it, well, you look, you're thinking it, aren't you? That's <laughs> what I was thinking. But regardless, it's a cool, unique design. I don't think we'll be seeing that much more burlap clothing for the foreseeable future. And potentially, maybe all the skin creators are going to be occupied with wanting to make skins for other certain items. Maybe we're getting some more skinnables. Oh yes, I'll be talking about that in a bit, don't you worry. But yeah, a perfectly fine looking set. Do you like it? Feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, yeah... I think you could pair this up, like more specifically the burlap clothing, pair it up with various different goofy face masks, uh, masks in general, you know, like the Dracula, Frankenstein and the mummy. You get the idea. So, yeah, no, I think that's actually, that probably will work out ever so nicely. Now, if only we could get some clown shoes, all right? Face punch, next year, it's time to make some clown shoes. You could make them squeak as well when you move along. That would probably be very annoying and a lot of people would appreciate it. <laughs> so anyway nightmare clown next year potentially we'll see some more skins being produced for it maybe some hide boots if duck could pull off clown shoes with hide boots i think we could applaud him i don't know if he's going to be capable of doing that we'll have to wait and see but hide boots or burlap shoes perhaps um leather gloves we'll see um maybe he makes a poncho or something who knows he's the creative one so we'll just have to wait and see but if you like it by all means buy it use it enjoy it support that skin creator keep him motivated keep wanting to put a nice creative designs in the future because we've not seen anything like this in quite a long time i know we have the likes of the clown theme tier three armor as a twitch drop you might recall that but I think people would appreciate that, especially for primitive skins. You can pretty much make that as soon as possible. We're going to see a lot of clowns playing Rust right now, aren't we? Well, we do that. We, we see that anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Perfectly fine looking set. Let's now move over and take a look at the likes of the Tomb Storage Box. All right. So, uh, as we can navigate over to here, I have a special little box located right here. And as you can see, it glows in the dark. It says RIP. And if I can recall, I think this is actually a collection continuation. Um, is this a collection continuation to the barricade we had accepted last year? I don't fully remember. Anyway, not, uh, daytime, go. So, yeah, that's a perfectly fine-looking small box. We've had quite a lot of small boxes this year in general, haven't we? What with the likes of collections and... Um, well, didn't we just have one accepted last week as well for Halloween? Oh, mate, we're going to get some Christmas small boxes and everything anyway. Perfectly fine looking design. Let me just tab out real quickly. This is produced by Michael. Now, did you get a Halloween skin accepted last year? Because I'm remembering... No, no, he did not. Okay. You know what? Maybe he got a, a good idea of this. I mean, it just says rip. I mean, lots of skins have said rip. Let it rip anyway. So, hopping out of here. Let's just quickly turn off all the lights. So, let's turn off these lights here and go pitch black. And as you can see, that is a very cool looking glow in the dark design. Uh, yeah. All the candles all around it, the cobwebs and everything. Very spooky, very sinister, very scary. I'm sure a lot of people will be appreciating this. So, okay, cool. You've got a perfectly fine looking skin right there. Is it Halloween gimmicked? I mean, I probably would lean into the idea that it is. I mean, it's not like it's got pumpkins all over it, but the big rip and the skull on the top with the weird like formation. I think we could probably accept it's pretty gimmicky. Will people want to use it during the likes there? I mean, it looks cool. I will give it that. It does look very cool. Schnip. It's quite reflective as well. Just want to point that out. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Do you like what you see? Are you going to buy one for yourself? Mr. Michael, keep up the good work. Let's see what you produce next year. Something like this as a garage door or a sheet metal double door. I think that could develop quite nicely. I think he might just make a large box. <laughs> so um, regardless, it's a totally perfectly fine looking skin. It's currently one of the best selling skins as well. So evidently people clearly like it. But um, small boxes, please be aware. Please, 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 please be aware that uh, we've had quite a lot of them accepted so far this year. And uh, perhaps... 
this might lose interest the second it's no longer Halloween. Or she might notice Little Dracula Box is already losing value as well. But that didn't even glow in the dark. Uh, well, then again, this also appeared literally afterwards. Uh, you get the idea. Um, it might be better off that you just stick with a wilder. Also, it's abnormal, so we can use that to our advantage. Wait until Wednesday. Now, some of you probably don't fully understand what I mean when I refer to abnormal skins. Just consider watching this, although this probably isn't the best representative because at the very beginning I'm pointing out that I have my Halloween event today, which I should, you know, quickly rush and, you know, carry on. <laughs> um, just type in abnormal and pick out an abnormal video from earlier this year, watch the first few minutes, look in the chapters, skip ahead, you get the idea, so it will help you out. It will help you out, it will help you understand that with them becoming marketable at an earlier set time, um, we can do our builders, look at the support afterwards based on looking at all the builders that have been put down and question is it actually going to retain value? And in quite a lot of the cases, unfortunately, no. But with the likes of last night, with the Halloween, uh, what was it, the From Hell Wooden Double Door, that looked perfectly fine to buy in, but because the rust rotated so early, I didn't end up buying any. <sighs> I just had to put down an even stronger barter. So, anyway, perfectly fine looking skin if you like it, by all means buy it, treat yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look at the spooky neon large box, which is right next to it. Ta-da! Now this is actually a collection continuation from the small box that we saw being accepted last year. A perfectly fine, straightforward neon design. Do you like what you see? Well, maybe you'd much rather see it when it's like night time. So, snap. Get a good look at that. That's a perfectly fine, perfectly Halloween gimmick skin. But there's a bit of a problem. Uh, clearly very Halloween gimmick. Now, if I could just quickly show to you how the small box behaved over the past year or so. So let's just go ahead and quickly do that. So Neon Collection from the likes of Mr. Epic. He's been producing quite a lot of these uh, holiday-themed boxes. I want to go ahead and take a look at Spooky Neon Small Box. Now, at the very beginning, I did point out Halloween skins. Not very uh, good investments, unfortunately. And as you can see, right now, it's currently sitting here at $1.65. Has it been bought out? Um, I don't know, but anyway, let's just quickly take a look at how it behaved over the past 365 days. And as you can see, it immediately went down in price. And then it went down even larger, and like at Easter time. So, uh, yeah, when it's out of season, people very likely are not going to care for it. Who would have guessed? So, um, yeah, with the likes of this large box, by all means, if you like it, show your support to the skin creator. But don't be surprised if it potentially loses half of its value over the course of the next few months. Wouldn't be surprising in the slightest. Regardless, Mr. Epic, it's a perfectly fine looking collection continuation. Get a good look at that. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Christmas one in about a month and a half's time. <laughs> no, seriously, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. I fully expect it because uh, he basically made small boxes last year. And this year it's all been, you know, large boxes. So cool, small to large. And then what will be next? Blockers? That wouldn't be too bad, actually. Anyway, perfectly fine looking skin. Congratulations, Mr. Epic. But yeah, it's very likely to lose value. So just giving you a heads up. Cool. All right, then hopping out of here, we can take a look at the likes of the Slime Monster Tier 2. Now, uh, in a previous video, I, uh, I questioned, hey, is that potentially nice uh, green camouflage? It's not. And if you want to take a real quick look at the likes of that, first of all, maybe take off the green camo uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the clown clothes. <laughs> you will see it's just far too bright. So let me just quickly turn that off. Let's just go stand in the green area. And uh, I swear we used to have more trees than this. Look at this. It just stands out too much. It's too bright. That's the answer. It's just It's just too bright. So no. Don't look at this as if it's good camouflage. And also, do take into consideration, it's got quite a lot of purple and pink. It's got a lot of eyes. It's got a lot of ooze. It's nice and shiny as well, I should point that out. It very likely will be getting a collection continuation next year. So if you can recall, a good two weeks ago, we had that collection continuation for the pumpkin set. The uh, hoodie and pants were accepted. If we see Slime Monster hoodie and pants being accepted next year, of course this will spike them on spike in price as well. But evidently... Based on how the pumpkin tier 2 behaved over the past two years, it very likely will just go down in price regardless. Now, last night we were questioning how we wanted to approach the likes of the Halloween clothes, and unfortunately, we just fully expected them to go down to maybe about 30 to 40 cents. Now, I know I was talking quite highly of the likes of the burlap clothing just a minute ago, but that's burlap clothing. 
we don't get that much of it. Plus, it's an incredibly unique design in that we just don't really have that much cl like clown clothing. <laughs> so I can't help but assume it actually might work out nicely. Also, take this into consideration. Primitive, goofy skins to wear. People would greatly appreciate if you just want to walk around casually and be goofy. So I'm sure you get the idea. Anyway, this right here, it's nice. For Halloween, a perfectly fine looking skin. Lovely stuff, Mr. Little Ranger. Keep up the good work. Next year, what are you going to produce? Feel free to... Uh, Comment below and tell us what it's going to be. But yeah, very likely we'll be like hoodie and pants or um, tier free. And I look forward to it. So if you like it, by all means, go and buy it. But you want to be smart of your money. Maybe wait like two months and you'll probably be able to buy all three of those pieces for like a dollar. And I wouldn't be surprised. So uh, yeah, long term investing, there is potential. But uh, it's definitely going to be a barter situation. So lovely piece of work. And uh, yeah, cool. So shall we move on to the next skin then? Right then, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Ghost Halloween L96. So uh, oh, where have I put that? I... Oh, if only I had a backpack. <laughs> we'll be talking about that, don't you worry. I know some people are already in the know. Right, let's just quickly uh, use my incredibly invisible backpack and bring in the weapons. So let's go ahead and whip out the likes of this L96. Now, of course, you're gonna probably question Hedge. Uh, what's the aim site look like? Uh, it's an L96. It's, it's always the same. But I should point out the scary face. Oh. <laughs> Is that off-putting? Is that gonna distract you? Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So, let's go get a good look at this. I know I'm wearing the uh, armor still, but don't worry. I'm sure you're fine. Oh, uh, it's, it's got the same problem that we've seen in previous years. So, uh, what's the problem? It's got ripped backwards. Yeah. So, it'll be fine on the other side, if I can recall. But every single one of these Ghost Halloween skins has rip on the wrong way around. <laughs> now, that's just something that's unfortunately uh, something skin creators don't have control of. This is why, in many instances, Face Bunch would encourage not having writing on the skins. But, uh, oh well. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a perfectly fine halloween theme skin. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, so is this likely going to suffer? Yeah, yeah, I'm very sorry. Now, we'll bring this up. Hall the Ghost Halloween weapons, they weirdly kind of do all right. People actually like them. So Ghost Halloween AK-47, it's only down by 34%. It's still down in price. But the main point I'm trying to get across is it's not like down to like 90 cents. The SAR, it's only down by 2%. The MP5, it's only down by uh, 25%. People actually kind of appreciate them. However, it's still very likely going to go below its still price. Um... Yeah, like that, that's like fully expected. It's also not abnormal. So uh, I think I will just stick with doing a buy order. I think I will just stick with doing a buy order. And I don't expect it to go all the way down to nothing. But earlier this year, we did have the likes of another couple L96s that have been performing super great. Wait, what was the... Um... Did we have the... Uh... I, I swear, I swear, what was it? No, that was a bolt action rifle. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, sorry. I, we've had a lot of bolt action rifles. So, <laughs> well, this is another sniper. Ah, you get the idea. Sorry about that. But yeah, L96. I think you will be dropping off. Uh, but well, let me just quickly look at all the L96s. Look at them based on like uh, lowest price. And the cheapest one is 97 cents. Yeah, they can go down to a dollar. All right, we'll have to be a little bit careful there. Also, do you notice how pretty much every single one of them's in the negative? Yeah, how often do you even use an L96? That very likely is uh, something you had to question, so... Okay, it is what it is. Let's now move on and quickly take a look at the likes of the cool-looking sheet metal door that we have over here. All right, it's spooky! <laughs> so yes, we have a very straightforward neon design. Now, let me just quickly remind myself, are you a new skin creator? This is FG, and uh, yeah, evidently, this appears to be your first ever skin being accepted, so all right. Cool, but now your name is TDP. Uh, okay, well, um, all right. Huh, so you're like completely new? Very well then. So let's just go ahead and look at this neon ghost door. Get a good look at this. Quickly turn off all the lights there. And uh, yeah, it stands out very brightly. It's 
very straightforward. Now these types of skins, they tend to work out okay. Let's go back to daytime. Uh, let's just move the sun around. There we go, get a better look at the likes of the lighting there and whatnot. It's fine for what it is, but again, it's very Halloween gimmicked. It's a sheet metal door, and unfortunately, that very likely will probably end up selling for about 70 cents. Very sorry to say. In fact, what price is it selling for? Oh, $2.49. <laughs> uh, oh dear. <laughs> In fact, we had the Grim Farm sheet metal door being accepted, what, like two weeks ago? How's that currently holding up? What do you think? I mean, if it loaded up faster, we'd probably get to the point. But with so many sheet metal doors that have been accepted, you shouldn't be so surprised to see that it's taking a very long time to load all of this up. SCMender APP, I don't blame you. But can you hurry up? Um, look, it can only do so much so quickly, okay? But let's just quickly hop back over. Oh, no, it's done. Okay, cool. So it's already down by 23%. Not so cute doors doing okay, though. But it only just became marketable, so take that into consideration okay anyway um very halloween gimmicked struggling already very halloween gimmicked very likely going down but not so cute door you're just like a cute chibi little ghost thing i think that actually might do okay we talked about that last night but what i'm trying to get across is yes this is another ghost door but that's more like a halloween thing gimmicky silly sort of thing whereas this is something that potentially could have just been accepted any other day of the year basically so I think that would actually do okay, but that's going to struggle, that's going to struggle, and so many other sheet metal doors have, of course, struggled. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Congratulations with your first ever skin being accepted. I'm so sorry, but people are going to ask me for the honest answer, and I give it to them. I'm looking at this with a financial perspective, so it is what it is. Congratulations with your first ever skin acceptance, but it's not a good investment. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So anyway, perfectly fine looking skin. If you like it, Go show your support to this brand new skin creator, for he has got his first ever skin accepted. So, congratulations to you, sir. Right, I do believe we're taking a look at an AK-47 now. And, uh, put some pads on. <laughs> I'll put the clown stuff on, I actually kind of like it. Right, let's take this off so it doesn't, like, take up the attention. Let's go whip out the AK, just to confirm. Can we confirm that it's definitely the next skin to talk about? Yes, it is. And I noticed it's got a blue aim sight. That's pretty cool. So, um, huh. Is it blue? Yeah, it is blue. It's just like very dark blue for the aim sight. All right. Does it glow? Wait. Uh, uh well, it, no, it's bright though. That does stand out quite nicely. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Okay. Well, that's a uh, mummy themed skin. It's got some blue all on the side and whatnot, which looks very cool. I can give credit to that. It's a cool looking skin. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it up close. Let's strike a pose. Da da da. And that do be looking very cool. Right, of course, night time as well. Yeah, I mean, for what it is, you've produced a very nice skin here. I can't remember who made it. We'll find out in a second. But unfortunately, Halloween AK-47. Oof, what's wrong? Well, unfortunately, it's already a holiday-themed skin. Well, that's, that's its own sort of problem. But the wrapping and whatnot is very unique. Like, honestly, someone could have submitted this during the year, like any other day of the year, and that probably would have been okay-ish, but it's just another AK. Um, I can't help but assume it's going to probably struggle to retain interest. But we did recently get some other mummy skins. Also, what's going wrong here at the bottom? Is that transparent? No, no, okay, no. I, I thought it was missing something. I was, yeah, I, illusion with the eyes. I'm, I'm dumb, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun for what it is. Now, if we could just quickly hop out, I can confirm it's produced by Karama Project. Oh, you've been pretty successful this year, good sir. Congratulations, congratulations. Right, so, unfortunately, not abnormal. And as you can see, of all the other AKs that have been accepted so far this year, so, 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 so many of them being accepted so 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 many of them struggling now you might sit there and say but 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 the girl ar the girl ar yeah that's uh that only just became marketable last night look at it again in two weeks time you might remember we had the angu ar down 34 when you're uh, you might <laughs> you might remember we had the likes of the shining edge ak-47 that sold at three dollars oh look it's selling for a dollar now yeah yeah so so many of these skins have been accepted and so many of them have tumbled and fooled fallen fallen fooled fooled <laughs> All right, anyway, so, uh, yeah, um, you could probably pick that up with a 60 cent to 80 cent barter. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Right then, okay, so, uh, regardless, if you like it, go and buy it. Treat yourself, or trick yourself, I don't know, shut up. Right, okay, so let's now put this away, and we should go ahead and take a look at the likes of the furnace right here. I shall turn it on. Yeah, he brightens up, and, of course, he lights up quite nicely. Yes, so let's go over to here. 
cool looking furnace skin but again it is a halloween themed furnace skin but i've got to get credit i like the faces all around on the bottom that's pretty cute that's pretty cool and on the top the brains light up if only my brain lit up but i don't even think i have a functioning one half the time i'm doing this anyway lights off fully go and uh, yeah stands out quite nicely it's a perfectly fine looking halloween themed furnace skin it is the necro furnace it is a collection continuation from the likes of the tier 3 armor that we had accepted last year very nice to see congratulations mishka and sponsor if i can recall uh is it with sponsor let's just find out usually works with sponsor no okay 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 right well anyway furnaces this year they haven't been super great have they now some of them have actually like improved a fair bit i do recall the pirate ones kind of stepped up a bit and of course we've had the likes of the uh polished obsidian furnace doing pretty much okay throughout all this year yeah you're doing good now you're doing good the ultramarine one's doing good as well but uh unfortunately we've had quite a lot of other ones struggle and suffer now when you take into consideration that we've had some very interesting twitch drops maybe people just don't feel the need to buy them frozen crypts also dropped off a bit not like fully but yeah anyway note crow furnace we had this talk like a good two weeks ago with the eat you furnace which is a very similar design i've got to point that out. that's another zombie theme one right there um it's already down by 44 percent same price very likely same behavior it's a very cool looking skin i'm sure a lot of people will be appreciating this lights on but um yeah i worry for it what happens when it's out of season? What happens when we no longer are going through the likes of Halloween? It's going to be out of season. People very likely will stop like caring about it. The demand will very likely drop off. And unfortunately, it go down in price. Yeah, sorry. But like that's the expected outcome. And I don't think you should be too surprised to hear the likes of that. So yeah, all right then. Uh, by all means, if you like it, buy it, use it, support it. Uh, buy it, use it, enjoy it, support the skin creator. <laughs> Support them if you want to. Okay, anyway, it's a perfectly fun looking skin and perfectly befitting of Halloween. So, yeah, good stuff there, Mr. Mishka. And I look forward to what potential Christmas skin you'll be producing this year. Is it going to look like that? Or is it going to look like Santa but with the teeth out as well? <laughs> you could be eating like a gingerbread or something. That actually would be a pretty cool idea. You could have like a hand at the bottom and he's holding a gingerbread and he's trying to eat it. If you're a skin creator, I've just given you a very cool, silly idea. Anyway. Let's move on to the next and final skin that's technically still part of this rust door. This is the Frankenbag. Now, let's go ahead and just look at it up above. And as you can see, perfectly fine looking skin. Does it glow in the dark? Yes, it does. His eyes do stand out. Let's turn the lights on. So, yeah, at night time, you can vaguely see the likes of his face. He's got like some stitching there. It's a perfectly fine looking skin. And also you might notice, if I could just quickly turn the lights off again. You might notice that the uh, pillowy bit, the brains, do glow ever so lightly. So, yeah, it glows, but not like super, super, super brightly, but the eyes kind of do. Anyway, do you like it? Are you a fan? Uh, feel free to comment below. Again, a perfectly fine Halloween theme skin. But um, is this something people are always going to want to use? Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I actually don't really know that uh, enough in regards to Halloween themed sleeping bags. Now, of course, I'm well aware of the um, the original ones that are very expensive. We talked about go to the highest priced sleeping bags. Oh, there you go, horror bag, horror bag, freshly dug grave. Oh yeah, I've got nine hundred dollars spare to be able to buy that. I've got six hundred seventy-one. Whoa, well, cool, you went up in price. Anyway, let's just look at all of these skins based on uh, you know when they're accepted. So let's look at last year. Did we have a Halloween skin accepted at night? What about the year before? Uh, we had ghostly sleeping bag now that's been a bit weird like that struggled over the past two years but then some people just been randomly buying it out completely i'm not sure if people were buying it as a halloween investment or buying it because they wanted to inflate the value of it either way it seems to be doing good all right right now and also yes it does glow in the dark as well so maybe it ends up like that potentially we shall see uh skinless monster sleeping bag that has basically always been below its rustle price never like fully down super bad but always kind of dwelling around one dollar fifty ish and then if i could go down even further like did we have a pumpkin sleeping bag I swear, no, no, it was a submission, not an actual acceptance. So, in total, we really don't have that many Halloween-themed sleeping bags, do we? No, that's actually kind of surprising, isn't it? Well, okay, so this is like the first proper, true, very gimmicky one. What do you think? Um, 
I'm not super confident, so I probably will just stick with doing a barder. But that's abnormal, right? Can we confirm that? It is, in fact, abnormal. It's sitting at $1.99. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. But I think I'm probably going to succeed with doing likes of barter. Also, sleeper bags this year. How are they currently holding up in total? So look at all the 2024 bags. And as you can see, Ultramarine's doing all right. Sleeper baguette, down by 21%. Not the end of the world, but... Mm. Uh, we also have snake bite sleeper bag. Now, that's actually an interesting thing to bring up. This is also a green sleeping bag that vaguely glows in the dark at night. Down by 44%. Thought you'd like to hear that. But also, that sold at $2.49. And then you've got the likes of the uh, Valentine's bags. Lava Giorgio, sold a lot. 80 cents. Valentine's gift sleeping bag. Didn't sell that much. Double the price. Um, I can't help but assume Frankenbag very likely will probably end up like the snake bite sleeping bag. Wouldn't be surprised, to um, be honest with you. All right. We'll see how that turns out. Keeping on the sales, it is the lowest selling skin so far. So, okay. Right then, gentlemen. So now we can dedicate some time talking about this undead door. So if I could just quickly navigate you over to the likes of here, I've made a tweet talking about it. Uh, let's just quickly refresh. Maybe some people might have responded or replied. But yes, only 85 individual people made a purchase of this skin. I, even, I don't even know how long this was in the Rustor for. Uh, it rotated super early. I wasn't even home when the Rustor rotated. So um, yeah, okay. Uh, this right here very likely will be very valuable. Now, I, I was kind of alluding this earlier, but I honestly believe the only reason why this Neon Dragon Garage door is super expensive is due to notoriety. Because I've said this so much, so, 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 so much. The Neon Dragon Garage door is not even the rarest garage door. But we know for a fact that that Sheepman door there very likely is one of the rarest Sheepman doors in the game right now. Very, very likely. So yeah, there it is. $300. With Bardo's pushing up to $300. Now, I was under the assumption this might have been like a bit of a pump. It might have just be rich people flexing or something. But it's very weird how it initially dropped off very quickly. But then like randomly just jumps back up. And then goes all the way up to here. I don't know. But I will show you. There's like 10 times more of these compared to the Sheep Menador. And here is the Sheep Menador. Take a look at what we have right here in front of us. Now, if we could just move the sun around. There we go. What a very devilish looking creature this is. Oh, yes, indeed. So this is produced by Alloy and Mr. Hook. And it's a perfectly fine looking Sheep Menador. Honestly, I think Facebook should just put it back in the rust store. Like, why have something rare due to a mistake? Just just give them it. I don't think anyone's going to be upset. I think there'll be a lot of people who are upset because they couldn't buy it. I feel like if you just put it back in, yeah, no one's going to be upset. Well, maybe the people who bought this and I was super happy they bought it. Yeah, they, it there's only 85 of them. I'm sure there'll be another good few thousand people that'll be very happy to buy it right now. Face punch. <laughs> anyway, night time. There you go. It glows very brightly. It's very noticeable. Let's just quickly turn the stage lights on. So, uh, yeah, it's quite nice and reflective. You might notice the uh, nose ring there, very reflective. The teeth, not so much. Maybe you should brush more. The blood, it's quite reflective as well. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, a very random thing that happened today, which led to a very, 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 very expensive skin, potentially. We shall see. So, are you a fan of this? Do you like what you see? Um, shouldn't have been there, but now it is. How much are you going to offer for it? How much are you going to offer for it? I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm kind of like, am I even that bothered? <laughs> I mean, I'm really honest with you, am I even that bothered? Well, I would like to try and pick it up for a much cheaper price and flip it. I mean, profit's good, <laughs> but I don't know how far this is going to go. And as I said, I know some people in my server that's bought this. I don't know what they're going to do. I would advise them to wait it out to see how things go about. Like, initially, right, initially, when we had the Neon Dragon Garage door become marketable, it went up in price, and then it dropped, and it went back up. But when it went back up, it took, like, a good extra couple of weeks, and it went above the price it was selling for initially. So, uh, yeah, there will very likely be a lot of people trying to flip this, like, sell it on the Steam market very quickly, maybe for about maybe a couple hundred dollars. Wouldn't be surprised by that. I wouldn't be surprised by that. But... Where does it end up at? That's the big question. Are people from certain websites going to try and grab all of these and own them all as a flex? We shall see. Um, but yeah, there we go. Potentially another brand new, very rare skin. You know what? 
Let's just go do this real quickly. I can go to SCMendo APP. I can look up all the sheet metal doors and I can look at all of them based on subscriber count. So when you look at the likes of this here, this, 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 they're all rarer. Technically speaking. So let's just quickly talk about subscriber counts. So subscriber counts, if you own a skin, if you've purchased it, I do believe you automatically become a subscriber. Now, these skins, when they were in the rust store, they didn't sell that much, as you can clearly see. But people are able to get this in the loot boxes. So I could just quickly hop over to here, quickly go to the main page. Uh, technically speaking, the Sheep Matador is still technically one of the rarest skins. In fact, it probably is right now the rarest Sheep Matador skin. But all those other Sheep Matadors, maybe not all of them, but at least some of them, they very likely were able to be opened in loot boxes. Now, it wasn't always crate and barrel and uh, uh, high quality bag. If I can recall, uh, it was just like gambling box or gambling bag or something. Anyway, point I'm trying to get across is it probably wasn't very hard to get those sheep in the doors in the past with the loot boxes. All right, just point that out. So, yeah, you might notice that it says there's a lot more of them in natural circulation, minimum supply, minimum supply. Okay, okay. So, subscriber counts. Not always the best measurement, but it's definitely something we can take into account in regards to like straight purchases. Okay, so undead door, what happens to you now? We'll find out next Wednesday. Hooray! Oh, what a fun time that's going to be. Oh, yes, indeed. So, are we going to see Bilders going all the way up to a thousand dollars or more? Well, then. We'll have to wait and see. Yep, next Wednesday night, I will be on stream. So look at the description right now. You'll see links to all my socials. You'll see my Twitch link. Wednesday night, London time, 9 p.m. I'll be on stream. We'll talk about the prices for the skins and whatnot like we normally would. But that right there, I don't know what price to give it. Because I can't help but assume a lot of very rich individuals might be jumping onto that. So, hey, we'll just find out. Whatever they want to offer is what the price is, I guess. Okay, so remember that. There has to be genuine demand. There has to be genuine people wanting to buy the skin at certain prices. Just because someone lists something at a certain price doesn't mean it's worth that price. Someone has to actually purchase it. Please remember that. So many people get that wrong. Oh, uh, uh, my very random skin here is listed at $2,000. It's worth $2,000. No. 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 Please learn. <laughs> okay, cool. So, very strange, silly thing has happened. And Wednesday nights, we chase after it. Who will win? Probably not me. I haven't even bought a Neon Dragon Garage door. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm a bit too low. Okay, anyway. So, cool thing. Let's move on. Right. So, what did I allude to earlier? Well, it turns out we've got some interesting things on the horizon. Next week is going to be the November 4th swipe, and I fully believe we're going to go back to normal non-holiday theme skins. <sighs> so, just to quickly point this out, Hopping over to here, you'll see I have my Rust Workshop skin checks right here in front of you. Last week we had regular non-holiday themed skins being produced. This past weekend we had non-holiday themed skins being produced. I fully expected these to be accepted today. No. So anyway, take a look at all the uh, chapters here. They're all the collection continuations. Click the first link right there. That takes you to the collection. This is the Rust Workshop skin checks for October 29, 2024. Lots of interesting skins were submitted, but we're very likely not going to see them until next week. And here's the kicker. Evidently, it appears we are definitely going to get complete the sets. What? Yes, on TGG's very own... Ah, oh, no, it's gone. Damn it. All right, I'm going to go quickly find this. One second. <sighs> so typical. <laughs> so, uh, basically, I had the image, but it's gone now, but I can find it again. Let me go find it. Right, so from TGG's very own server, which you can see here, Rust Skin Information. Here we are. As you can see, no skins are due on Monday, November 4th. I was able to get in one last complete the sets week before 2025. I do believe it's going to be the second week of November. And chances are, potentially, maybe, possibly, we might have a second week. It's up to face punch, but things like that have happened before where they said, we're only going to do it for one week. Oh, no, wait, hang on a minute. We'll do it for two weeks now. Anyway, we'll see. But, yeah, complete the sets. Looks like it's definitely happening. I actually had, like, that image, like, screenshotted here. Oh, right, anyway. So, earlier this year, about good, like, two months ago, I had a video here just reminding everybody, keep yourself updated. Take a look at likes of this collection here. Uh, the link to this will be in the description right now. You can see that right there. Go look at all of these skins. Now, just remember this. All the skins that you see here are not the actual skins I've put here as candidates, but rather 
they are the representatives of their collection. So if I were to just keep scrolling down and look at the likes of, oh, I don't know, what am I going to look at? Tempered Armador. Okay. So, yes, the Tempered Armador in itself would be a candidate. But if I just go take a look at all the other Tempered skins that have been produced over the past few years, take a look at all of them. Maybe not those ones, but look at the more recent ones. So over to here. Rocket Launcher. There you go. That's another candidate. Can I look at the likes of the sleeper bag? That's a candidate. Can I take a look at the likes of the hide pants and the hide shirt? That's a candidate. Point made. Ayoka. Ayoka. <laughs> so, yeah. Look at all the skins. Look at the collections they're part of. Look at the skins that, in, that are in that collection that have been accepted. You get the idea. Neon Bismuth's there. Uh, I would love to see the likes of more of the ramen shop stuff. That was very nice and comfy. The cute kitties. They must be adored. Let us buy them, face punch. So, yeah. Consider going through the likes of this. And I can hear you screaming it right now. I want Forest Raiders. I want flashbacks. I want... More Forest Raiders. I want San Rhino. I want Thunder Gold. Well, you know, start praying. That's all you can really do, I'm afraid. That's all you can really do. So it is what it is. We'll see how things turn out. I don't know what could be accepted, but I've at least got a collection here that isn't official, but by all means would get you in the right type of mindset for what to expect. Skin collections over the past good few years very likely might get randomly picked out. As far back as about four years, I believe, is potentially the, the 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 range. So we'll find out, won't we? Cool. All right. Hopping out of here, we can now talk about some other things that have been addressed. So um, what I wanted to talk about was the commits. Next week is November 4th swipe. We will have an update. It might not be a big update considering that we had a pretty big one for October. But if I were to just quickly show you some of the things that are currently being worked on, let's just quickly refresh, see what new things are being said. All right, nothing. Okay, over to here, what do we see? Ice sculptures, right. This might be something that might be introduced for Christmas time. Uh, you know, it's like a winter thing that certain countries do, I guess. If it gets cold enough, it doesn't get cold enough to do things like this here. But yeah, ice sculptures very likely might be a goofy thing that might be just a fun activity that you can do in Rust now. Um, keep an eye on it. We'll see what happens next. We also happen to see the likes of Siege Weapons being worked on a lot. Now, if I could just quickly go back over to my Twitter. And if I could just quickly uh, scroll down. We have prefabs of the designs. There we go. Rusticated has a video showcasing all the uh, like works in progress designs for the baluster, the battering ram, and the catapult. So, uh, if you can't remember... If you can't remember, um, evidently we're going to have a primitive game mode added to Rust. Yes. So if you're sitting there saying, why do we have this? I'm never going to use this. It's very likely going to get used in primitive mode because you're not going to be able to use C4 and whatnot. Understood? You can't have a rocket launcher. You could probably make a rocket launcher with enough gunpowder. <laughs> but is it going to shoot out? Anyway, anyway, anyway. You get the idea. I mean, barrels full of gunpowder actually would be pretty primitive. Uh, how primitive are we going? I don't know. Anyway, anyway. So um, this looks like it's going to probably be ready for likes at the beginning of next year. I'm under the impression they're working on this a lot because they probably want this to be used in the upcoming Twitch Rivals event. There is another Twitch Rivals event for December. What's the Twitch drops for November? I don't know. I think it might just be a random batch of uh, streamers again. I would like it if they did people from other regions. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, Siege Weapons currently being worked on. Very nice, very cool. Now, horses are also being implemented with the likes of siege weapons. I did question this. How are you supposed to get these gigantic... Uh, how are you supposed to get these, get these gigantic, like, tools of destruction from one place to another? Uh, use the horses. Uh, drag them along. <laughs> now, if they're going to do this, I'd love it if they added, like, wagons and whatnot. If you're going to go fully primitive, add wagon wheels and, uh, and, the, and the wagon carts. If we can't have cars... I'm just saying, carriage... Yeah, carriages. Just pointing out. Cool. All right, so, um, yeah, that's nice. That's fun. So we'll see how that turns out. And then moving over to here, new skinnables. Right, so we now know what the next skinnable item is going to be. The last skinnable items to be added to Rust were the likes of the road sign gloves and the L96 back in 2021. But I can confirm to you, backpack. Backpack is the newest skinnable item. And evidently, I do believe we already have our first brand new backpack skin. Yes. Mr. Shedmon always first to jump in and put out a skin, whether it's for holiday or for a brand new item. Here's the hard suit backpack. I can't show this off to you. Uh, I don't have a W skin link. I don't think you could bring it into servers like mine at the moment. We shall see. But anyway, that right there, that is your first backpack, backpack skin. The first of many. And chances are, 
we're going to be seeing a lot more skinnables. So if you want to get a good idea in regards to what potentially might become skinnable, if you were to go ahead and keep an eye out for the likes of all the top picks lists produced by TCG, that German guy, you might notice with every collection he produces, he has this poll right here. Vote for the new potential skinnables. What? Well, click that. And you might see that this poll right here, which I will have linked in the description so you can take part in yourself. Uh, it's going to sit there and say, what would you like to see become skinnable based on your own potential, like your own personal priority? So as you can see, everything's ranked from 1 to 44. Get, uh, 1 to 40, 1 to 40. Okay, sorry about that. And uh, basically, you have to put these in order of what you'd like to see become skinnable next based on your own personal priority. So let's just sit here and say, oh, I'd love to have a bed become skinnable. I want a race car, please. I need it in my life, face punch. So that's my priority. It gets 44 points. And then I'm like, you know what? I'd love to see the uh, mini copter become skinnable. skinnable. So yep, there you go. I'm going to put that number two. Do you understand how this works? So if that's my main prioritized thing to become skinnable, it's 44 points. Second gets 43. Third gets 42. You get the idea. Once you're done, you put it through. You say, right, that's it. Voting. Now, you can actually just skip ahead and look at the vote, uh, the results already. Now, only a few thousand people have taken part. But as you can see, Tall Cupboard was on top. And you might recall that earlier this year, we've had some Tall Cupboard skins being given to us. Face Punch made them. Uh, general skin and the promotional skin. You know about that. Cool. So, um, bed is second. Handmade LMG is third. La 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 la. You get the idea. That's all cool. And if we could just scroll down, there's some things that were added more recently. They have less points, of course, because they've only been like available to choose recently. So, if you're confused why this is so low, they're added later. Nail gun is legitimately something people just don't care about. <laughs> Sorry to say. But 2,969 people have voted. So if you want to take part in that as well, you're more than welcome to do so. And is this being used by, by Face Punch to get a good insight for what they want to make next? The next, we'll see. Personally, I'd love to see more wolf headdresses as uh, skinnables because I think primitive skins with wolf headdress skins would be really, really cool. Just point that out. That's just my own personal opinion. So cool. Right. So we've pointed that out. Very nice and uh, very interesting thing to hear. So on the horizon brand new interesting skins being produced which potentially means we don't see a ton of sheet metal double doors anymore and whatnot because we keep seeing skin creators constantly make garage doors and sheet metal doors and sheet metal double doors let's get some more variety they needed things like this to happen so that we see more variety so next year maybe we don't see that many sheet metal double doors and sheet metal doors and garage doors time will tell <laughs> all right then um so yes i'm kind of rushing this it's been quite quick which i'm quite pleased with but i'm sure you are well aware that i am going to go ahead and do my special halloween event with the likes of shadow hopper and mr cheese taco and everybody on the likes of the art of rust server so <laughs> where are the bone walls where is the bone gate where is the bone wallpaper where is the bone high wall where are the bone rugs where are my legs where am I? where's my head i've where is my mind anyway so <laughs> we're just yapping and i've quite literally lost my head over this look at what happened oh no but yeah it's all in an effort to support mr shadow hopper because throughout all of this year throughout all of this year he has been posting and begging for bone walls every single day of this year every single day of this year every single day of this year a picture of the likes of a skeleton or a bone Yep, yeah, good look at that. Every single day of this year. He's been doing this for almost 300 days. Will we get Bone Walls accepted and actually implemented? We shall see. But with my suggestion, as you might have noticed, I was kind of given the indication of you could either make it an actual wall or a gate or a wallpaper or a high wall skin, make it a bone rug, uh, uh, give me my legs back. You know, you get, <laughs> you get the idea. All right, cool. So, um... I've got to go quickly have a very long drink because I've been talking non-stop for about 55 minutes and uh, I've got to go upload this video. So thank you very much for watching me today. I greatly appreciate it. Do remember, next week, we have that very valuable sheet metal door to chase after now. Oh, yes, indeed we do. And uh, yeah, abnormals. If you don't fully understand, consider watching some recent abnormal videos. You'll get a good idea. We figure out prices. We race to put the barters down. It's as simple as that. So uh, once again, thank you very much for watching me. I'm just quickly trying to figure out, is there anything else I needed to address? Complete the sets we've said. I didn't buy any wooden double doors from hell because unfortunately the rust rotated super early. I'll admit that. Uh, I did put down a stronger border on them. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I think I am done. I think I am complete. So yeah, backpacks. What collection, what type of collection would you like to see become a backpack? 
back, 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 back. Uh, no, there's no need for Dora the Explorer now. Let's just move on. Okay. Catch you later. Sing goodbye. <laughs> I raised my bone club to you, Mr. Shadow Hopper. Now it's time to declare what we want most. As you try and jump over a gigantic taco picture. Are, are, are you there, Shadow Hopper? I cannot. Okay, well, uh, let's just be ominous. Make the jump. Let's just well. be I'll ominous. Tell you what we want. Yes. What do we want? What do we want? Scream it! <laughs> Bone walls! Come on in. Bone walls! Bone walls! Bone walls! Come on, people, we need to scream Burn it out loud. Walls. What do we want? What are we here for? Why are we stuck in here? Because of bone walls. <laughs> I can't think I'm wedged. <laughs> and, cheese tacos. and cheese tacos indeed. Bone and bone walls. Or bone gates or bone high walls or bone rugs. And kittens. Not, not skeletal kittens. That's quite sad. But bone walls.